Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here at Larry's Tropicals. Today we're going to be doing something quite a bit different that's been requested quite a bit. And that is going to be how to repot a terrestrial orchid. So oftentimes we've been doing the, uh, the epiphytic orchids, which are orchids like Catalea. Um, that actually grow on the edge of trees, on the bark of trees. They will grow partially in the air and they'll, they'll cling their roots right to the tree and grow. And that is uh, most of your orchids. However, there's a, quite a few orchids that uh, like vanilla and like this one here, this is a cymbidium. These are actually terrestrial orchids and terrestrial meaning earth or grounded. Uh, and they actually come in contact with soil. So that's why they're gonna be quite a bit different. So when you're repotting these orchids, you wanna make sure that you have a 50-50 ratio of regular traditional potting mix, uh, the orchid bark, and then you also wanna make sure that you have uh, the rest being soil. So we're gonna do a 50-50 mix, um, one to one ratio. And uh, that is going to be that. And also the next thing is make sure you have the next size up pot. You don't wanna to go too large because too large is overkill, it's not necessary, and it will actually end up hurting your orchid in the long run. So make sure you're a little bit on the smaller side than what you'd think. This orchid here uh, is in a uh, two and a half inch pot. It needs to be moved up. So we're moving it into a four inch pot here. So that's that. Now come on in close and see how we do this. All right, so the first thing we always do, as always for those of you longtime viewers, you know what we do first, we take out the name tag. Set it somewhere where you cannot get it mixed up or thrown away with the trash because if you lose that, you lose the name and uh, that's just a pain because then you never know what it is. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you take your really cool handy dandy pruners here. Uh, these have a guide, a guide blade so that you don't cut any roots. We're going to stick the guide into the pot and cut down just like we do with all of our other orchids. That way we're not cutting roots, we are just cutting the pot. And we're going to remove half of the growing medium. Now, a lot of times people say, oh, why are you removing growing medium? Uh, and that's because growing medium, you know, when you repot like a, let's say a vegetable, for those of you that grow vegetables, when you repot a vegetable, you don't want to remove the soil because it's, it's been growing in that soil. However, with orchids, they really don't like to be, uh, they really don't like to be in soil that's too wet or growing medium that's too wet. So we'll mix it with a 50-50 ratio of traditional orchid bark and some regular potting soil. So we have our orchid bark there and our soil right there. And we're gonna mix that up because you want a 50-50 ratio of that. Just mix that up in your, in your pot there. Then you're going to take your orchid and make sure that it's, uh, it's free of all its old growing medium. Just a little bit there that could be worked out. Um, and the reason is because you'll, you'll find that uh, the growing medium holds on to too much moisture and it'll actually lead to root rot. Um, so that's why we remove the growing medium. And then what we're going to do is we're simply going to take our, take our uh, roots and just kind of work them apart because they've been in that small pot for quite a while and uh, they will benefit from being worked apart gently. Don't rip at them because that just leads to breakage of the roots. You wanna just gently work them apart because they've been coiled around that pot for a long time and, um, and they, just, they just need a little bit of room to, to move around that pot. And this just helps them to realize that they're not in that pot anymore because sometimes I find that with orchids, if you don't do this, um, they just don't get the signal and they will, uh, they will just remain kind of wrapped around each other for all of eternity and um, it really does not uh, help the plant grow all that fast. So there we go, we've just kind of loosened up that root ball there just a little bit. Um, again, nothing too overkill, we're not ripping at it, we're just working what we can work at and loosening what we can loosen and the rest we're just leaving because it's better than it was before. So there we go, just get this last root, there we go, just get this last root worked out and uh, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> there we go. So we've, we've loosened up the roots and uh, gotten them kind of worked out and, uh, and now they are ready to sprawl through the growing medium here. So then what we're going to do is just stick the orchid in, make sure, that, make sure we don't have too much growing medium because you want it to be just at the pseudo bulb 
line. So the pseudobulbs here um, are containing water and stuff, and you really don't want to bury it past that. You want to bury the, the, just the pseudobulbs right there. So we're going to go no deeper than that. So we're just going to continue taking out potting soil until we'll have that, that proper level there. All right, I'm liking what I'm seeing there. So what we're going to do is uh, actually just yeah, push the old growing medium aside and uh, bring in that new growing medium. Get a little bit of the, the regular bark mix, a little bit of the, the potting soil there. And um, again, just make sure it's about a 50-50 ratio because that will ensure that it holds on to just enough water, but it doesn't hold on to too much water and it'll still remain good draining soil. So there you go. That is how you properly repot a terrestrial orchid. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, please click that subscribe button because that always helps us out. And it also helps us know uh, who we're reaching. It also helps you stay up to date whenever we upload a cool video. And also if you have any friends that have been trying to grow some terrestrial orchids and just don't know how to or wanting to get into growing terrestrial orchids, um, I would definitely suggest growing these because these are just super simple to grow. And make sure to check out the growing guide because that'll also help you. And um, that's really all I have. So I hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new, like I said, because um, that is our goal here, to teach you something new. And I hope you're having a great day. This is Luke from Larry's Tropicals. Make sure to check out all of our terrestrial orchids on www.larrysorchids.com. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.